Good morning, folks. The sun remains relatively quiet, but we've got the start of an earthquake uptick. News from right here on the ground to about as far into the cosmos as we can adequately understand, but let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Find the last 24 hours on our star. We're quite calm once more. Equatorial Corona Hole of the North out ahead scouting the way for the rest about to come over the eastern limb on the left. But what's not incoming is sunspots. Left side is blank, so could be the entire sun once these groups finish turning away. Solar wind has continued to slowly calm as we await another coronal hole stream impact in a few days. Instability has disappeared from Earth's magnetic field and things are quieting in geospace. The next coronal hole stream I mentioned is coming from that central opening, about three days until it gets here, but before that we ramp up the earthquake watch. While no six-pointers have struck yet, that is a rare location rumble. This is much more rare than six magnitude events across much of the ring of fire. Watch peaks for 36 hours, and wanes another 24. Let's jump way, way out now to the Rotten Egg Nebula. They say it's a star shedding its outer layers in spectacular fashion. I see more basically the magnetic opposing flows ringed by a torus in the middle. The system is likely moving right to left, which messes with the size appearance as well. As amazing as that appeared to be, this is better. Pulsar wind nebulas looking an awful lot like a planetary magnetic field blown back by solar wind, Chandra looking in X-ray and infrared to reveal similar structures seen at different angles from our point of view. We'll stop in orbit as we come back to Earth. Go 16 flare monitors appear to be working. This is vital given the importance of solar flares and the age of the existing GOES-13 and 15, which now provide nearly all of our X-ray data at the sun. Okay, time to watch closely. Goodbye, color. Goodbye, drought. We're going to do this twice, quickly, and then slow it way, way down. Folks, these are some of the official continental U.S. drought monitors starting back in November. Since that time, the amount of drought in the U.S. has plummeted, utterly hitting the floor as major winter rains and snow held no bias as it took on the West Coast and charged eastward. I expect that trend to continue through the spring. It is Saturday, so in just a few hours, our weekly podcast will pop up over at suspiciousobservers.org. Going to do something special today. Also had a deeper look episode out for website members last night. We've got pressure and radar forecast, an all-school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.